Relocation plans are far advanced for more than 20 families at the retirement dump in St. James. The Member of Parliament for West Central St. James gave TVJ News an update. With the details, here's TVJ's Giovanni Dennis. Smoke from the retirement dump in July. Authorities say the fire was started by people who actually live there, leading to plans to have them removed from the dump. Member of Parliament for West Central St. James, Marlene Malahu Fort, says those plans to relocate the people are at an advanced stage. We just cannot have that. There are other regulatory issues that we have to handle, but in terms of the safety, both of those who live there and those who are affected when those who live there choose to light the dump, we have to do something about it. Simply, yes, the administration is looking at relocation and we're far advanced in looking at the land options. As a first step, Mrs. Malahu Ford said emphasis is on people who live closest to the dump. We're actually looking at the entire situation, not only limited to those that are on the dump, but the surrounding communities. It's really unacceptable and what has existed for too long cannot be allowed to continue much further. So when will the actual relocation process begin? It is my hope that we won't have a lot of time passing before the residents see the action steps taken. Just last week, local government minister Desmond McKenzie announced increased security measures for dumps island-wide. The recent spate of dump fires is estimated to cost about $100 million. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.